At Astral Park is BT's global research and development headquarters. Over 40 companies are based here and some 4,000 R&D personnel are employed by BT and its partners. The latest network services and applications are on show in the Innovation Showcase. And chances are, if it's on BT's network today, it started life here. So what we're trying to do with our innovation facilities here when we, when we host our customers here is have a conversation with them around uh, how innovation is going to transform and impact their business uh, over the next one to five years and how BT be can become their innovation partner in helping them navigate that disruptive change that's going to hit them. We have a portfolio of research and innovation activities that are in different stages of development. Some of them are early stage ideas or concepts that we're working up. Some of them are uh, a, a little bit more formed. Perhaps we're running a trial or um, uh, we're developing a business case. Some of them are in implementation and we're doing the heavy lifting and the design and the engineering to get it to market. So it's a real portfolio thing and we try to manage the portfolio and maximise the number that we get through that pipeline from idea through to launch product. Mobile application management. So this is all about BYOD or bring your own device to work. And so we're enhancing that and actually enabling employees to use applications from an enterprise app store on their own device. So what I've got here on, on my iPad is a link to BT's app store, where I've now got a collection of officially approved apps that I can use on my device for my work while I'm at work. What can also happen here as well is how that gets managed centrally, have things taken off when I leave work and therefore I don't need them when I'm not in work so the applications get taken off. The things that we're looking at for high street retailers and, and, and our large corporate customers who are retailers are things like digital signage, interactive signage, but also things like store planning and management, so tracking uh, usage of uh, the way people flow around stores. Um, within this environment here we have a number of variants of digital signage. For the interactive floor display there's a cube on the floor here which is projecting an image and then using infrared can start to detect people's movements so whether it be playing an interactive game or whether it be uh, sweeping away the leaves to uncover the hidden message. This is another form of digital signage. There's actually two cameras there which are looking at uh, the shot and the people that are watching uh, picking up the, the, the faces of the individuals and then making a decision as to whether or not you're male or female and then potentially changing the content that is being shown depending on that audience. We can see this being used in retail, in banking, petrol forecourts even. Just behind me here is a translucent display. So effectively uh, an LCD panel but with no back on it. So you can see straight through the messaging to the contents inside. In this case it's a display case here with some uh, some shoes and some jewellery inside. We can store all the content that people want to, to push out to, to displays in a central location and using the network, whether it be a fixed network or a mobile Wi-Fi network, to connect to the various endpoints. We're doing a lot of work looking at innovation in healthcare. Uh, so we have our global services division with BT Health. So looking at innovations in telecare, and telehealth, uh, how we can help through technology innovation drive operational efficiencies and, and improvements in, in patient care within hospitals, and also looking at things like mobile health workers, so how we enable people like district nurses, midwives, paramedics. Facelook is a trial that uh, we did in rural Suffolk uh, last summer, helping to connect elderly people in rural locations with a care team and with a local doctor involved in the selection process as well. We installed a tele HD video conferencing uh, device onto their TV sets. We gave them broadband as well if they didn't have it. And then the care team could come in via a video conference. In this case, on an iPad here, I've got a Skype video call being set up from the device as a carer into the patient's home. So here I am, I'm in the middle of my operation, and I want to change the records that I'm looking at on screen. So I can say, Neil Droitwich. I've now got Neil's medical records or images on my screen. The next thing I want to do is actually manipulate those images, and this is where the gesture comes in. So I can bring my hand up, I can grab that scan, I can now move that about the screen. If I want to zoom in, I can bring my other hand in and I can then zoom in to the scan, get a close up, or I can bring my hands together, I can zoom out, I can start to find out more about that particular scan. All of the innovation that we look at that you'll see in our innovation showcase here is we put it in there because it's all driven by the network. 
So the network is the enabler for all of the applications and value-added services that we show. So 3D printing is the reconstruction of an, an item, an article, um, via a printing process. Additive manufacturing is the kind of the, the term that is being used for this in industry where they're looking at having multiple raw materials coming into the printers as well. We see here we've got plastic examples, uh, a bearing actually being printed off in one process here for BT. Is it an application that fits on the end of a network? And could this revolutionise the delivery of parts or components to places? The message we're trying to get across to our customers is here's some really fantastic things that you can do, but without that, uh, that network underpinning it, that high speed, uh, high reliability, um, uh, network that BT provides, none of these applications and value-added services will work. I've got two 4K TVs behind me here. We know that lots of content is now being recorded in 4K by, by media agencies and so forth, uh, and BT have done a, a world's first live broadcast of 4K content. 4K means there's, there's four times the number of pixels on the screen to high definition. Lots of things need to be happening on compression techniques to reduce the bandwidth that's required to broadcast it. Um, but in terms of the quality of the images, you can certainly see from the, the screen behind me there with the, the flower there, the quality, the crispness, the contrast, it's excellent. Think of this as our innovation headquarters. So this is the centre of gravity for innovation and, uh, and R&D for BT. But we do have innovation going on across the planet. So we have a team out in, in Silicon Valley. Uh, we have people that, that spend time in Israel for us. We have people out in the Far East looking for innovation. We also have a, a big academic research programme as well. So we're, uh, you know, we're re researching with MIT out in the US, with Tsinghua in China. Uh, with EBTIC out in the Middle East, so it really is a global innovation activity. I'm now holding the, the BT Home Hub, which has now been designed in this way that it fits through most letterboxes. So when you arrive home at night, instead of now getting a, a postcard for the door saying, sorry, but you weren't in when I tried to deliver your parcel, please go to the nearest depot to pick it up, the carbon footprint now associated with that journey that you would have to make has now been offset because this new Home Hub 5 will simply fit for your letterbox and there it is arrive before when you arrive home. The aim is to try and uh, prove uh, that something can be really powerful for the customer by working with them and co-innovating with them and then you know the BT sees the benefit as well because the ones that customers get really excited and interested in and the ones that they're prepared to put their money in become the next products and services that we add to our portfolio. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at BT's Adastral Park.